Maybe Scootles in the burrito too. No, who knows, man? Maybe this is on burrito on sun violence. Mm, maybe. I, I, I'm trying to think Scooter might have been. Um, Scooter might have been. Um, uh, um, what do you call it? Scooter might have been on burrito too, man. Uh, The shop employee in Delaware County unexpectedly found himself turning into a crime fighter, and it all took all it took was a little quick thinking without dropping his pizza. Action News reporter Brianna Gallagher joins us live from Brookhaven with much more. Brianna. Hey, Walter. Well, it wasn't your average day at work for one pizza delivery driver. While out on the job, he helps police put an end to a high-speed chase. Take a look. Oh. The car just came up like and beached like doing like 75. He beached onto the side of, of this person's lawn, almost took out a couple cars. Just one of the many delivery stops Tyler Morell was making today while working for Coco's Pizza Aston. He just so happened to find himself in the middle of a high speed chase. Yeah, According to Brookhaven. <laughs> oh, clip that man. <laughs> oh, wow. Yeah, I'm to <laughs> oh, this is satisfying. He looks like a big bastard too. Yeah, he looks yeah. like a tall glider. He's a different type of glider, man. Uh, most he, 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 there's a shred of glider males that are still um, red blooded, goddamn raw. Him got beefy. some Norse blood in him. Yeah, like Viking, a little bit of Viking blood in him. Like the rest of you guys are just. Yeah. You, Martin, you Christian Martin. I'm Christian Brando. Y'all are y'all are y'all a bunch of Christian Brandos. This is goddamn disappointment. <laughs> so happened to find himself in the middle of a high speed chase. Yeah, I'm trying to quick man. man, goddamn. You look like John Elway that play with John Elway in Super Bowl. <laughs> Yeah, just said, man, man, you fly. I believe I can fly. <laughs> I believe I can touch this <laughs> Oh, salute to you, man. Salute to you, Glider, man. This day in Glider history, man. High speed chase. Damn, he hit that ground hard. Look, he didn't even get a chance to brace. He didn't even get a chance to brace. He wasn't expecting it. He, he, he ate. He ate the turf. The high-speed chase. According to Brookhaven Police, just after 3.30 p.m., officers were in pursuit of a stolen car from Upper Darby. The stolen car crashes on Preston Street in Middletown Township. The suspects get out, and that's when Tyler steps in. I like started walking towards the road, and I was like, I can't do anything with my hands because I'm holding the pizza, so I just stuck my leg out. Police say because of Tyler and his quick feet, they were able to make an arrest. He gave us the help we needed, which, you know, by tripping him, gave us the time to be able to catch up to the, the gentleman. I like, I'm pretty the sick gentleman. of seeing, like, crime like that going. Of course he's a gentleman, like shit. He, yeah, a gentleman, man. Shit. Christ. Or, 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 the, the or else. Or else this guy's in big trouble, man. I like I'm pretty sick of seeing like crime like that go on, especially a half a mile down the road. So I was just ready to step up and if they needed a hand, I was I was there or a foot, whatever. <laughs> so. Police were able to arrest both suspects, including the one that took a tumble. One second he was in the air, the next second he was just on the ground. After all of this, the pizza was delivered safely. In this case, this guy, I mean, ultimately he saved the day. And from what I hear, the pizza was uh, was saved as well. 10 out 10 delivered. Now, Tyler is being hailed as a hero. Those suspects, they're facing multiple charges tonight. For now, we're live in Brookhaven. Brianna Gallagher, Channel 6 Action News. Walter? Quite a story. All right, thank you, Brianna. Salute to that gladder, man. Salute to him, man. It's a feel-good story. It was three years ago when someone was shot dead inside a home in a normally quiet section of Mayfair. Tonight, investigators are hoping someone might have information to help them solve this case and bring the gunman to justice. Here's Rick Williams with tonight's Crime Fighters report. 
Neighbors along the 300 block of Glenview Street in Philadelphia's Mayfair section say the street is normally quiet. I lived here like 31 years of my life and I never really heard anything like this so close to home. This incident happened on September 11th of 2020 at about 3.30 a.m. Police were called for a shooting inside of a home. I heard a good six to eight gunshots. Um, and the next thing I know, I heard a car fly. Yeah, that's a... Um... That's an old story. Um, oh, man. Wow. Okay. Portland, man. Five tonight, gun violence has claimed another life, this time in the Reed neighborhood of Southeast Portland. Police are looking for the person responsible for this deadly shooting from last night. Witnesses tell us they heard multiple gunshots and saw a woman pass away after being shot. Fox 12 So Young Kim is live in Southeast Portland tonight with more on the story. So Young? Damn, what's that lady on the family guy? Patricia Noxakawa, was it? Our Asian reporters. 